hey what's going on YouTube I'm gonna start off with the dollar um, definitely broke down um, but uh, since the market opened it retraced all the way back and created this uh, reversal bar but um, as I'm looking at it on a weekly chart looks like a bearish retracement back to uh, resistance so we'll see what happens tomorrow if it opens up or if it opens down um, like I said it broke down and it retraced all the way back up um, to its open so there you go something to watch um, on a daily you can see the retracement um, quite possible it could retrace back into previous lows which is here well, we'll see what happens like I said up or down tomorrow morning uh, S&P still lingering uh, definitely below our lower highs and um, in this whipsaw uh, so far this week um, Puerto Rico uh, defaulting on its bonds issued by the Treasury um, things could escalate pretty fast so um, look for previous low breaks 2050 on uh, the S&P um, the daily you can see the bearish retracement and it started to break down but recovered today uh, and this can also be construed as a bearish retracement back to resistance so it's breaking down it's just a matter of time I think uh, the Dow on the other hand hasn't broken down from its previous uh, lower highs so it did make a bullish retracement here and shot above so we'll see if we can hold uh, lots of bad news out there so uh, look for previous low breaks uh, close below our uh, higher lows by the end of the week uh, today is Tuesday so we got a little bit of time here uh, crude has uh, taken back some of its gains but uh, on the opposite side of the trade this is a bullish retracement um, supports at 41 and a half right now on a weekly um, we also got support on previous highs which is at 42 and above so <clears throat> this could definitely come down to 42 on a bullish retracement uh, let's look at the GDX um, this is the weekly chart uh, we want to stay above 50% of this candle to say to stay in bullish mode um, so it's almost there uh, look for bounces if it doesn't hold off of previous highs uh, quite literally if the pullback is hard enough it could retrace all the way back down into support um, so lots of blood in the streets today um, just not sure if there's any kind of uh, reversal yet uh, looks looks pretty bearish uh, we got support at the end of this gap and we got support down and around 23 and a half also at 24 so downside could be a little bit more at least to support which is at 24 right now on a daily so we'll see what happens uh, just to look on a short term looks like it wants to break down uh, take another step down
So see what happens. Uh, quite literally, it could turn around on a dime. Uh, but I don't think the pullback's been uh, sharp enough for these big buyers waiting for a pullback. I think they're looking for a bigger one or else we would have seen some kind of reversal. Uh, nugget, same thing. Just look for previous support lines. Uh, we got the 8 on the daily. Right around 96. Uh, also you can see that bearish move on uh, Nugget where it gapped up and closed down and then this is a continuation so support at 100 um, 91 and also the 8 is uh, off this previous high here so 97 and 90 and uh, so we'll just keep a watch for the first bounce and uh, see what happens uh, look for the stair stepping kind of uh, bounce on a short term and let's see on a 60 minute and see if we can see any stair stepping consolidations I don't see that yet um, but here's the uh, support first line of support is at 100 and then if it wants to go further we got uh, 90 five and a half on a 60 minute and we got support at 90 and I hope it doesn't go as far as 89 um, same thing on first majestic uh, it didn't gap up on silver but um, you can still see the double top and again 50% of this candle we want to stay above just to stay in bullish territory um, these scenes can turn on a dime once the uh, big investors start just buying it but um, we've got support on AG all the way down to 8 so be prepared for that um, regular silver same thing but uh, we're still bullish uh, there's no indication that uh, this pattern has failed the reverse head and shoulders uh, ultimate support is at 16 let's see let's make sure we stay above 17 on silver again stay above 15 percent of this candle and stay in the bullish territory but um, on these large pullbacks it's it's likely to pull back to 17, even all the way back to uh, it's 8, um, if things get out of hand. Um, and then finally, gold. Um, here's the reverse head and shoulders, high level consolidation, the breakout at 1280. Uh, let's make sure we stay above 1280. So we don't go back into this mess. Also, if it does break down into the previous, uh, below the previous highs, we definitely want to stay at 50% of the long green candle, um, which just eyeballing it looks like about 1260, which was a major break point for us on the way up. So uh, gold is doing a lot better than silver uh, because the 8 moving average has had time to come up um, once the 8 gets above 1260 then uh, we can start um, feeling better about going forward up um, so that's all I got today uh, lots of uh, retracements out there everything was red but um, Catch the bottoms as soon as they fall into support. Make sure you get confirmation. And um, just hang in there. It's going to be a multi-year uh, bullish market, I believe. And with the bonds already failing and 
Puerto Rico, who knows what's next. Uh, we're way, way far in debt. And uh, can't pay this stuff off. So, that being said, uh, let me know what's going on out there. Please comment, share, like, uh, donate if you can. Uh, cups of coffee are my favorite. Um, get yourself a big gold account. Uh, bonds are failing. Dollars going down. Uh, there's no reason why you shouldn't get off of the fiat uh, credit-based uh, debt system. <clears throat> get yourself a Bit gold account, get yourself a uh, debit card from them so you can buy and save in gold. All right, links, links are provided below. All right, well, thanks. See ya.